So my female yellow belly finally had her prelay shed. I was just checking her out yesterday. And uh, so she just shed this morning. But she's looking very, very good. I love it after the shed. Um, so we're planning. And we should have some, uh, some eggs soon from her. So I'm gonna just uh, point this out that uh, we got a prelay shed on April 8th, and then my other two girls. I still think uh, my Mojave is still gonna be having her prelay shed, and my normal here is gonna be having her prelay shed. So. She actually looks like so she's getting nice and big. Almost looks like she's nesting a little bit there. She usually doesn't make a mess of the the tub, but that's a typical sign of nesting behavior. And uh, I'm just pumped. This guy's just this girl's finally got a pretty shot out of the way. Looking very very pretty. I love the blushing on her. <clears throat> so we'll keep you keep you posted here. So this is my incubator. I've been running it for about two weeks now, testing it out. I got it, uh, got it off of Craigslist. It's just a wine cooler incubator, Vino Temp. And uh, I got the water bottles in here. Water bottles are not for humidity. What uh, the water bottles are for is it, once the water bottles heat up, it helps retain the heat in here. Um, I had to get a thermostat for it, so this is a thermostat I have, right now it's at 90.6, I have it set for 90 degrees, so that it turns off, kind of hard to see, but uh, it turns off and uh, it'll go down to 88 and then kick back on. I have the vermiculite in the box set up in here. I'm going to have the eggs. I tested this out with it stuck to the top of the crate just to see how it would act like that. And it was fine. Um, the only problem is it would get real hot. Um, it would be hotter on the top, obviously, than it would inside the tub. So what I did was I just left it where the eggs would be. Um, I got the vermiculite and this all set up how the eggs are going to be sitting in there So there's moisture and the vermiculite's you know nice and warm and stuff And then uh, I placed it in here. I tested it with it on top and I tested it down below I also did different racks So I started on top and worked my way down just to make sure it's kicking on and off it the way it should be And I found that it works best if it's just on the bottom of the tub where the eggs would be sitting. So we're all set up. We got uh, we got our fan going in here, a little CPU fan, heat tape in the back. We've been, like I said, I've been running it for for a little while just to make sure it's doing okay. And I think uh, I think it'll be fine. It's actually even got a little light on here too. I don't know if you can see or not. Oh, it's pretty neat. I kind of like the front uh, the glass door on this thing. So, um, this is the vermiculite I have. It's from Menards. And I get that to a moisture level where I'm just, uh, where I could squeeze it out until the, there's no more drips of water. And then I put it in the tub, spread it out, and then I put the the light grill over it you can kind of see it's you know it's doing good it's got the moisture in there that's what i did um you know for previous eggs and it's always seemed to work out okay so uh i found that it's got a thermostat on here it says 87 degrees and then this stat says 87.2 i don't know if you can see it or not 
so it does stay pretty close um but this is kind of this one is just the inside of the obviously the inside of the incubator and then i have the thermostat for the heat tape that's inside the tub so that's my setup and in the future i could always take out these water bottles if i have to and uh add another shelf in there because i got sh more shelves and more uh more shelves and more tubs that came with it but um, I think for I know this year at least I've got the six tubs in there that'll be fine so I want to do a quick video and show you guys what's going on with that so we'll keep you posted on uh, on the girls upstairs and um, when they start getting close to you know Post a lane or when they lay i'll uh, let you guys know don't forget to like and subscribe and uh hit that notification bell and we'll keep you guys posted as always have a good day we'll talk to you guys later bye